Hello, welcome to Leeds Tax News. I'm George Easterbrook. And I'm Sam Clements. Here are today's headlines. Man arrested after a shooting on Beckett Street in the city centre. Warning of food price rises following a hard Brexit. The dance group that hopes to give people with Parkinson's a better quality of life. A man who was shot in the shoulder after an attack at traffic lights on Bermontoff Street has now been arrested by West Yorkshire Police. Several city centre streets were closed this morning following the shooting, Tom Howard reports. Police were called at 10 to 7 this morning to an incident that happened on Beckett Street, which is just outside St James's Hospital. Police have confirmed that a man was shot in the shoulder in an apparent gang-related incident. Detectives have said a 23-year-old man was waiting in a BMW at the traffic lights when a silver Mazda forced its way through the traffic and pulled alongside the car. Three men wearing balaclavas then jumped out of the Mazda with machetes and began attacking the vehicle. One of the men then drew what is believed to be a gun and shot the man who was sat in the passenger seat. With the street all cordoned off, police have told motorists to expect prolonged traffic delays around the area. The man who suffered the gunshot wound was driven to nearby St James's Hospital. The injury was classed as minor and it was treated and released. He was subsequently arrested on suspicion of possession of firearm with, with intent to cause fear of violence and is currently in custody. West Yorkshire Police have said, we believe that this has been a targeted attack on the victim. The criminal use of firearms on the streets is always something that we treat very seriously and we are currently carrying out extensive inquiries to identify those responsible and to establish the full circumstances around the, surrounding the incident. We have already spoken to a number of witnesses, but we would still like to hear from anyone who has witnessed the incident or who has any information that could assist the investigation. This is Tom Howard reporting for Lee Tax News. There have been warnings of possible large price increases in household foods after March 2019 in the event of the UK leaving the EU without a Brexit agreement. There are fears the UK could face a 22% increase on food imports from the EU. Holly Webb has been to Kirkgate Market to find out more. Piers warned this morning that without a free trade deal, after Brexit, food prices could increase in the UK. The Lord's EU Environment Committee said it was inconceivable that there would be no impact on EU produce, which makes up around 30% of the UK's food imports. While better off customers could afford to buy more expensive homegrown goods, it said those on lower incomes could be left with lower quality imports. I'm here today at Kirkgate Market asking local shoppers their opinion. It's going to happen, isn't it? And the Brexit's coming and it's going to happen, so prices will go up. I wouldn't want them to go up, but if we're coming out European, then it's going to go up. It's just, accept, just have to accept it, I guess. <laughs> so there is potential for it to rise, but that doesn't mean it is going to rise. Um, I, I do hope it doesn't, because that will contribute to a lot more food poverty, which is a huge problem in the city at the moment. Just irrespective of what people believe on Brexit or think about it, I think we need to sort of, um, hold our nerve and make sure that we do the right thing. And um, yeah, well, I think that we shouldn't sensationalise things as well. So we should need to sit, wait and see what actually does happen. I suppose we're really lucky because we're not struggling pensioners, you know, like some some people are. Some people find it hard. I think the younger ones will find it if, yeah, if they do go. But you won't know until we come out. They're only speculating out there at the moment, so they won't, you won't really know what, what will happen. So. I'm Holly Webb for Leeds Hex News. If you've been shopping in Leeds' Brigate lately, you may have noticed how many empty stores there are. There are concerns that House of Fraser could have another hole in the city's main retail area after the company announced some stores may face closure. Jennifer Turney reports. Shops in Leeds and particularly on Brigate are closing down. House of Fraser has announced that they are closing down some of their 59 stores throughout the UK and their large store on Brigate could be at risk. Yes, I'm extremely surprised by it because this is one of the most iconic names in the British High Street. Uh, but as we all know that it's a struggle from the online store, the cost of the, the shops, the rent of the shops are increasing. So all the retailers are struggling, so it's not only House of Fraser, but all the big names are struggling right now. Trade in Leeds is failing due to online shopping and businesses in Leeds are struggling. Uh, the retail uh, industry, not only in Leeds, but throughout the country is struggling at this moment, as we know, because of the onslaught of the online activities that, are, that is going on. But 
something should be done, the, the council should do something, the retailers should do something in order to bring back the consumers again to the high street. And the way to do it is of course by increasing the engagement with the consumers because that is something which they are missing out when they are shopping online. Leeds is just one high street struggling and Brigade is just one example of the effects of online shopping. I am Jennifer Tierney reporting for Leeds Hacks News. Leeds Beckett students are still living in temporary accommodation over a week after a student hall was flooded. It's the third year the Plaza building has had to be evacuated. Is it time for you United students to finally sort the issue? Nathaniel Doherty has been talking to affected students. The Plaza accommodation is one of the most popular halls for students in Leeds. However, students have been rehoused for a third year in a row due to an ongoing flooding issue. They had the, room, the flat next to us had some flooding and it ran over into our room. They didn't come and sort it out for about a week. It took me a week of asking them and complaining for them to sort it out. Um, we had, I think we had about six power cuts in the year that we were there. That took them time to come and sort out. Um, the kitchen flooded from them turning the water on and off, they burst, the tap burst, so the ki our kitchen flooded. We flooded, our flat flooded three times, once our boiler, the like handle just came off it and it just flooded hot water all into our thing which affected a couple of rooms and then we flooded in the like, big couple of big floods and the one we had to move out in when we moved out for like a week and a half. So like, it was really ridiculous. We had to pay for taxis everywhere. Um, loads of our stuff got damaged. It was really hard to claim back. They obviously turned off all the power, so all our freezers and stuff. We lost all our food, like all of that. Um, on top of that, we had, it's meant to be like really high security. And we once got someone break in, like banging on our door in the middle of the night, saying that um, they needed drugs from us or something. But we don't really know what the situation was, but it sh they shouldn't have been able to get in in the first place. Unite students were unable to comment, but have rehoused the students in hotels across Yorkshire. All the students affected have received mitigation in the exam season. This is Nathaniel Dalby, reporting for Leeds Hacks. A young Leeds entrepreneur says the best way to grow a business is to treat people fairly. Ellie McDonald, who's won awards for her PR work, says an ethical approach is the key factor in success, as she told our reporter, Emily Connoran. Mac Combs is a rapidly growing PR firm, taking Leeds Digital Hub by storm. Ellie MacDonald, founder and managing director of MacComs, wants to promote successful businesses who aim in treating people right. I think MacComs has grown um, so fast in just three years, um, mainly due to our strong brand values that we've got in business. So we are really passionate, enthusiastic, positive and collaborative. So MacComs is the PR partner for Simon on the Street's homelessness charity and we're really proud to support them because they're a very small, hard-working charity that um, is obviously serving quite an increasingly visible problem um, as you can see on the streets of Leeds homelessness is rising all the time we help to raise their, their profile the credibility promote the great events that they're doing um, in a bid to, to get them more awareness more funds and um, the underlying ethos of Matcoms is to create a successful business based on treating people right I want to to grow it to a good size where we've got some really fantastic people who genuinely love what they do I'm Emily Connor reporting for Leeds Hacks News People with Parkinson's disease are taking steps to stay fit and improve their health. A weekly event called Dance with Parkinson's has been set up in Pudsey to help those living with the condition. Harley Young went along and spoke to some of the participants. Dancing can help support people with Parkinson's and develop their confidence and strength. This provides a temporary solution to their problems. We meet, we meet um, every Thursday. This is our Pudsey group. I also run three other groups in the city in Meanwood, Saltair and Otley, which I um, launched um, last week. And this class has been running since January. And it's been going really well. Well, it's a great way for people to come together and socialise, um, increase their health and well-being. Um, dance is also particularly good for um, mobility. Um, it also helps strengthening the posture and um, help with balance problems that people might help have and um, yeah just generally keeping fit and well and healthy because I feel that the movement we've been coming for a few weeks now really helps my Parkinson's and it's good for the, the social aspect as well meeting meeting people and chatting and sharing experiences is, is useful 
that Parkinson's is a weird disease. The more you get chatting to other people, the more you find the symptoms are just so different. But some research has shown that, that dance is really good to help with the movement, and uh, so we keep coming. This has been Harley Young reporting for Leeds Hacks. That looks like a lovely idea and best of luck to them all. Yes, let's hope it helps those taking part have a better quality of life. That's it from us here at Leeds, Leeds Hacks News. It's a goodbye from me. And a goodbye from me.